Hello everyone, this is Francesca from Cinevax with a quick and important demonstration for you. We often get asked to do a comparison between our 21st century thermal insulation coatings and 20th century fiberglass or mineral wool insulation. The first question I always ask is, do you want that comparison before or after it's installed? What happens when fibrous insulation is compressed, gets dirty, or gets moist or wet? Its thermal performance significantly suffers. What happens when a thin film thermal insulation coating like ours gets compressed, gets dirty, or gets moist or wet? Well, not much. Because our coatings are designed to repel moisture, dirt can't get into them once they're dry, and compression's not even an issue. I often try explaining this to people, but seeing is believing. So I have a quick demonstration using R30 fiberglass bat insulation, three coats of our clear energy protect coating for building insulation, and two coats of our heat shield EPX H2O coating for industrial insulation of pipes, tanks, and equipment. So as you watch, how do you think the performance for each material is changing? First, let's try some compression. The R value number made for thick insulations is partially based on its thickness, so you can imagine what compression does to the effective R value. With the thin film coating, there is no compression happening, so our coatings maintain their thermal insulating performance. If you want to see more about how thin film thermal insulators are performance tested, just check out some of our independent testing data at Cinevax.com. Look for our technical menu. Now let's try a little dirt and dust with factory floor dust. You can see how it attaches to the fiberglass, but doesn't really infiltrate Cinevax thin film insulation coatings. There's no way to get in. Last, but definitely not least, is moisture. Moisture is a big factor in attics, manufacturing facilities, offshore platforms, and outdoor applications. Water is an excellent heat conductor, so once it gets inside an insulation, it's causing a significant drop in the insulating performance. Plus, it causes things like corrosion and can harbor mold in building insulation. This is what hydrophobic looks like. Water can't get in, can't cause corrosion, and can't cause mold growth. That's the difference between an insulation that lasts for years and years and one that degrades rather quickly. So that's the end of my quick seeing is believing demonstration. What did you think? Which insulation would you want? In your factory, protecting pipes and tanks, or in your attic or walls of your home or